Rubble Cuts Part 2. Jeff the Maintenance Man, what's going on? I got a surprise for you guys. One. Whoa. One. Let's make sure I got that. One five, it looked like. One, two, three, four, five. So now I got a one five code. <laughs> So I've had a 1-4, a 1-3, a 1-5. So again, here we go with the trouble codes. 1-5, push button override. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Somebody push the button downstairs, override. How I know this is working? Check this out, guys. The drain tabs are gone. And it just recently, and this is cool, so it just recently was running. I had to catch it while I was running. So this thing really... It had a problem, and I think it's, uh, in the last video, I was saying that this wire was loose. I put it back. I think this thing is fixed. It really is. This is like, over the weekend, um, you know, I, I said I was going to take these manuals home, and maybe I need to do that right now. Um, Yeah, this is the manual that you get offline. This is what I was getting. This is how to mount it and stuff. So, some of the installation licensing paperwork, I guess, or something like that. But I want to take, I want to take a manual home and just look at it. See, we can hook these to a computer, but you know, there's no internet or anything. There's no wireless module on these. They probably should have. Then, then we could just connect with our computer and use the system manager for it. But I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take these home with me. But I'm gonna bring them back when I'm done with them. Because if anybody needs documentation on this, the exact same units right there. So um, it's not like I'm stealing your glory or anything. But yes, the drain pans are gone. I mean, this isn't a day. Those drain pans are gone. These things remove so much water. It's stupid. So, it, it's working. It's working. I'm going to say it is a worker. Excuse me. Got a little bit of... That's yeah, the gas section. You know, all that good shit. Anyway, I just wanted to show you all that it is working. So, yeah, it, right now it's a uh, 1.5 code. It's... Uh, I like I like Aeon units because they kind of tell you what's wrong with them. But I hate them because there's always something wrong with them. They're just so irritating as hell. I just want to go over here to this 15 ton real quick and just look. And I want to see like normal operation. Yeah, this is a small baby. You have an unloader on the top. This one, this one runs like... 100% of the time and this one will unload when it gets to its uh, when it gets to ambient temperature or whatnot so all right I don't even need that but this should be in the door anyway all right so normal operation let's take a look at the computer things and see what's going on ow dang gum it Dusty as hell up in here. Look at this. Yeah, good lord, man. Gosh. Maybe just take a water hose and spray it down, right? No, nah, I'm just kidding. Our relay is activated. That's cool. Shows you that. That's pretty cool. Alright. Anyhow. So this one gives us normal operation code right here. This one. It just blinks every one every time so that's status two that's normal operation uh try not to zap myself actually gosh darn it i'm gonna take i'm gonna take this home too and just read about you know the v vd maybe and just just skim skim around it tells you exactly how to do everything and the parameters and stuff 
Although I probably won't be screwing around with it that much. Um, really above my pay grade and you know, uh, just it, it'll give me an idea of what's going on with these units. But I think uh, somebody commented it might be easier to look in a calculus book and you're, you're probably right. Yeah, definitely would be. So yeah, when it's in normal operation, you know, if somebody, uh, see I'm starting to know more about this, this is like a phase control, phase loss. So if you lose one of the phases or something, I don't know. So it doesn't run half phase, something like that. Um, the unloader I'm very familiar with and the VFD, which is, there we go. I'm gonna have an unload, sounds like, hold on. Y'all hear that? I don't know what that was about, but it's not like the unloader tried to unload just there for a second. Listen, hear that? Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. I'm gonna see how these puppies work. See what it's doing. All right, yeah, that's that's the unloader. Go ahead. Copy that. Ah, uh, somebody got a leak in my refrigerator. Weird sounds these things make, I'll tell you what. So it must be close to being satisfied. I don't think it's, you know, honestly, I don't even know if that's supposed to be doing that, but they make all sorts of weird noises. There you go. Yeah, I guess it's getting satisfied. It's getting close to satisfied factory temperature so this one just keeps running this one unloads and loads and then once it gets to satisfied temperature I think this one will cut off I think and this one will just stay running and unload and load and unload and load something like that you know it's, it's however it's programmed in that computer it's crazy stupid units it sure is it's about to start raining let me get my paperwork downstairs and and stuff, but uh see if it is even unloading. Yeah, see? Unloader. So that's what it's doing. It unloads and loads. Just for that fraction of a second, which is kinda weird. I don't I don't understand. I don't I don't understand how that's uh, you know, more efficient. It just unloading that quick, you know. You figure maybe unloading for like 15 seconds, 30 seconds, and then going, yeah, running unloaded, and then kicking on, you know. But they do do that. But um, when they get close to the ambient temperature that's inside, they do they do that little gizmo right there. I don't I don't understand how any of this is efficient, you know. I just, eh, just damn. All sorts of crazy shit, really. Always need to be babysit, but as you see, I'm gonna take these home. I'm gonna read them like I said in the last video. Um, get an idea what's going on maybe. Uh, just so I can kinda, uh, you know, that one, it might have been blinking. It, it has a code for dirty filters, but it wasn't blinking dirty filters. It's blinking control temperature thing and when I took out the filters I rebooted the unit and also that wire was loose which which I main cause of it but I did not reboot the system after I put the wire back on there so whether or not they have a self reboot probably not because I came up a day later and made that that video and uh, it's still uh, doing crazy crap but now the drain tabs are gone it's that means it's worked in the last over this weekend so 
and it was pretty hot for a weekend. So, yep, back up here with my little family members, babysitting a little bit. Just make sure the filters, I always come up here, I always make sure these filters didn't pull into that, that wheel. They haven't pulled in yet, but they get clogged up more, they're going to hit that, they're going to hit that mercy recovery wheel, and, or heat recovery wheel, or heat wheel, heat recovery wheel, if you will. And, uh, yeah, so the filters aren't bad on them, they're still pretty good, so, good to go. Alright, so everything's working good up here, so they're all working now. I'm going to go downstairs, I'm going to get two filters, I'm going to put them in there, I'm just not going to film that, that's stupid, um, for me to even do that, to even film that, so. Just me changing filters. Ooh. Maybe one day I'll do, you know, I'll do a, I'll do a video of uh, trying to get this shit in my pocket. These fiberglass poles, man, they, they're sh ah, You get them on your, you get them on your uh, arms or something. God almighty, dude. They, uh, they're shedding their fiberglass. It's not cool. But anyway, I'm going to go down this hole once again. Down the hill. Drop my butt. Y'all have a good day. It's Jeff the Maintenance Man.